Kid, what are you doing? I want to help them battle. It's too dangerous! I've helped them battle before. I know I'm not ready to join the Camel Squad, but I can still help like I did before. Look, even for the Camel Squad, it was dangerous. What do you mean? As soon as the Camel Squad joined the battle, they were attacked by sulfuric acid tank. They were all either killed or hospitalized. Which hospital? With the hospital. Hello? Hello? How is everyone doing? Not good. I was going to help in the war, but I was told it was too dangerous, even for you guys. Do you know how dangerous that was? Yeah, you could have been killed. That's why I didn't tell Bri you can join the Camel Squad yet. But we need to stop the Suburb Acid Kingdom from taking over the entire fortune list. Not saying it has to be you, Igor, but someone. Wait a minute, remember the Earthquake Maker? Yeah, we used it to finally defeat Lavon. But it's in the Presidential Stadium. So I'll go get it. But the Presidential Stadium has been taken over by the Sulfuric Acid Kingdom. Oh no. Master Isaac, can I still go get the Earthquake Maker? Well, alright, but I'm coming with you and you do your best to avoid getting found by the Sulfuric Acid Kingdom. The Presidential Stadium is guarded. How are we supposed to get in? You probably know that I helped rescue the soldiers they held hostage. I hate to say this, but we'll have to ask the fires. Well, if it isn't my rival whose students joined the Camel Squad and Igor, didn't I ban you? Look, we need your help. We want to get the Earthquake Maker to use it to stop the Sulfuric Acid Kingdom from conquering the entire Portuguese list. But it's in the presidential stadium, which is guarded. We need you and your students to burn a hole in the wall so we can get in. We're hot, but not hot enough to melt stone. Wait, we know an art that may be able to make us hot enough to melt the presidential stadium. Something you don't know. It's one of the people who broke out our hostages. And he's got a weapon that belongs to us. No, it doesn't. You stole it from the Portuguese land when you took over the presidential stadium. <coughs> Let's get the earthquake maker to the part of the Portuguese lands that's still independent. Here's the earthquake maker, General. You can use it to defeat the Sulfuric Acid Kingdom. Thank you, but we need more than one Earthquake Maker if we want to have a chance of stopping the Sulfuric Acid Kingdom's conquest of the Fortune Lands. I'll speak with the inventors of the Earthquake Maker. Remember how you built an Earthquake Maker? Yeah? Well, we'll need a lot more if we want to save the Fortune Lands. We're not in good condition, but if it can save our region, then we'll do it. Here you go, several earthquake makers. Thank you, let's hope it's not too late. We lost the hostages. Thank you, let's hope there'll be enough to defeat the Sulfuric Acid Kingdom, because if they're not, then the last part of the Portuguese will fall to their control. We did it.
But if we want to remain independent without fighting, we have to get back the capital, which won't be easy to do. Give the Portuguese land their independence back. After the westmost part of the Portuguese lands has defeated the Sulphuric Acid Kingdom, rebels all across the parts of the Portuguese lands controlled by the Sulphuric Acid Kingdom have started rebelling in order to gain their independence. Looks like now is the time to take back the Portuguese lands. Retreat! I can't believe it! We won! And now even the East is free! Which is why I can happily return to training at my old training area. Hey. Hey. I know your parents were too strict on you when you were younger. How? I heard you say to yourself, that that could be why you're such a cruel leader. Maybe you could talk to them. Do you think they'll listen? They'll probably be upset that I asked. Just try it. The work when my best friend Carl did it to my parents. Ugh, fine. Remember how strict you were when I was a kid? Yeah. Well, I wish you weren't so strict on me. You gave me no freedom and invaded my privacy. Well, we did it so you grew up to be disciplined and well behaved. Yeah, if we didn't control you like that, you would have ended up as a squirrel adult and king. But in some ways, that's what happened. All the over controlling you did on me ended up getting me really frustrated and angry. And I ended up dumping it on the people I rule. Oh, really? We're sorry about being so strict on you. We thought it would be best for you. But instead, it screwed you up and made you miserable. We didn't like it when our parents were so strict, but we thought it was right. But now we realize it was wrong. 